What's up, Capricorn? Welcome to your no... Nope, not November. What's up, Capricorn? Welcome to your weekly reading. I hope that you're doing well. Thank you so much for being with me here today. I really appreciate you. If this reading helps or resonates, let me know by leaving a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. If you want to follow me over on my Instagram and TikTok, you can find me there at Jade Scantero. And that being said, let's get right into your reading. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the information for that is in the description down below. But yeah, Capricorn, let's see what's going on for you. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week ahead, the next seven days. What's going on for Capricorn, please? Show me clearly. Hmm. Messages for Capricorn for the week ahead, the next seven days. What's going on for Capricorn placements? Messages for Capricorn, Summerizing Venus in November. Ooh, okay. Five of Pentacles reversed, just flipped itself out whoa with the ten of cups reversed you're coming out of an unhappy situation could be involving home could be involving maybe it's your money i see you're coming out of this um that's good i love that for you we have the world the end the end is near of a real long hard cycle okay all right all right devil reverse love that and Father of Cups reversed. Wow. Okay, bottom of the deck. Mother of Wands, Ace of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. I sense that there is a brand new start for you, Capricorn, and it's looking very, very promising. I see that you're coming. So this week ahead, some of you are leaving behind a job. Some of you are leaving behind a relationship. Some of you are leaving behind some sort of environment where you are miserable. Like you hate it. You're done with it. You're over it. You're sick of it. You're tired of it. You're drained emotionally, mentally, spiritually exhausted. Like you have reached your finish point and you're done. You're done you're done and that fitting right fitting we're in this eclipse energy i'm not surprised that you're going through this ending capricorn what better timing this is it that written in the stars destined to be like seriously for those that have been thinking about leaving something behind but you've been hesitant to this is the perfect window window opportunity right here this is the this is the best time to let that shit go whatever that is for you capricorn it's time to close that door why because this is the beginning of a brand new cycle next i would say two years two years because so this is the we just had the eclipse today as i'm recording this we had the full moon eclipse in taurus that was a blood moon and apparently we're not gonna have another blood moon until 2025 so that's a good two years from now so it's just like interesting to see like this is gonna be a new cycle a new lunar cycle for the next two years so pretty big deal so if you're going through some sort of ending just know that whatever it is that you're beginning definitely going to be playing an important role for the next couple of years six months for sure like you know because because eclipses are more like a snapshot of like the next six months slash previous six months so um even just it doesn't have to be whatever that it is that you're starting or may begin in the near future it doesn't have to be permanent right it might just be the next six months but it's leading to like it's going to be part of this um kind of like two year cycle two and a half year cycle that's that's occurring for you so really interesting that this is coming out for you um we have your energy devil reversed capricorn so i see that you are breaking away from some sort of toxicity or something in your life that's been very very negative very draining um maybe you've been dealing with like some sort of relationship or connections that have been really one-sided or really um just in balance where people didn't consider how you felt or they the actions that they they took didn't they didn't consider how they made you feel or they would do something without thinking about how it would affect you or how you would feel and then then they were like oh sorry it's just like you know someone who maybe you've been dealing with people who lack self-awareness um and it's just been super draining super unhappy and just like like crappy you know um anyway so whatever the situation is definitely toxicity is over here but it's being released it's on the verge of it closing out cycle is closing out for you this week and i'm so happy for you 
like you know some endings it's bittersweet some endings it's like kind of sad some endings it's painful you're like why did this happen this ending you're like thank god thank the lord let's celebrate i need a drink like <laughs> you're just like damn like i'm so glad that's over so that's great we'll definitely take a look into the world but this is very fitting like i said with this eclipse energy very fitting and i'm not surprised that you are going through some sort of ending this week but um i see that you have something new beginning as well so like again with every ending brings a new beginning endings are new opportunities in disguise right so you're creating space for something new and i see like this could be in relation to like a new work or a hustle or a business or some sort of idea that you have and i think you are very motivated it's something that inspires you it's something that excites you it's something like that you will look forward to and you'll have a lot of motivation and also you'll have the discipline to take action and to commit to it so that's exciting this feels like it's a really exciting door that's opening up for you we'll definitely take a look into that this could be in regards to like the creative arts or healing arts um for some reason they're giving me massage therapists so i don't know if that's for someone out there maybe throwing that out there um but it's exciting and you have a lot to look forward to in the near future you got so much to look forward to i'm so happy for you i see you're also coming out of like a time in your life where maybe you were struggling financially i see that you're coming out of that maybe if you owed someone money you finally paid them back or like you've cleared some sort of debt some of you so that's great that's awesome news i'm happy for you um some of you could be moving that might be something that you are thinking about doing or you've been contemplating or you're making plans to do that or for some it's like you're leaving behind like marriage or some sort of contract there's something about you breaking a contract or like cutting some sort of ties there's definitely some sort of you're cutting ties towards something um all right so let's do some clarifying let's get some details to what's happening this week first of all um let's just get a little bit of clarity as to this ten of cups reverse get a little bit more specific as to what this is about ten of cups reverse for capricorn in the week ahead the next seven days but i feel like this is kind of like current energy slash past energy time about the ten of cups reverse for capricorn king of cups so this is obviously affecting your emotions um your feelings your relationships ten of cups reverse for capricorn the star hierophant reverse you wish to break away from this <laughs> your wish is like to be free from this once and for all hermit reversed and you've been thinking about it for quite some time we have the king of swords aquarius energy at the bottom seven of wands and the three of swords and the sun yeah you've you've gone through enough here you've gone through enough i also feel you've suffered from a lot of disappointment in the past recent past and so i do feel like if you were to have new things come in like with the star coming out here wish fulfillment there is some defensiveness or you're you're struggling with letting down your walls or letting people in because of what you've recently gone through right so that makes sense and so for the week ahead there might be moments where you're getting triggered a little bit so just be patient with yourself and next time you find yourself getting triggered or like uncomfortable feelings or sadness or hurt comes up let yourself feel it because some of you are like thinking your feelings with the king of swords out here this is a very like practical analytical um kind of energy so it's kind of like you know these emotions are coming out here and instead of you feeling them you kind of like try to detach or you try to like use your logic to explain how you're feeling instead of letting yourself feel them it's like no i'm gonna detach it's like i think something that will be really helpful for you is like letting yourself feel these emotions king of cups so you, instead of being in like this analytical practical like oh well crying doesn't pay the bills yeah but crying helps set your soul free from all the pain and the heartache that you've <laughs> encountered you know um like working 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 grinding making the money doesn't heal your heart yeah crying doesn't pay the bills but money doesn't heal your heart money buys you nice things for sure but if money solved all our problems then how come all these rich people have fucked up 
lives and like fucked up mental health i'm just saying it's just like yeah sure money would be great like unlimited amount but like even the most richest people are the most fucked up like so (laughs) that speaks a lot anyways this is like so off topic but yeah so it's just like finding the balance between being logical you know not staying and throwing a pity party for too long but also not being a fucking robot you know capricorn so let yourself feel those things um you're needing to really like there's something about um you may be breaking away from tradition here with the the hierophant reverse there's something about you breaking away from tradition or like a typical like going i said this in gemini's readings like going against the grain maybe some of you have gemini placements but there's something about you doing things differently than the rest um and again it could be relating to some sort of like wish fulfillment or this might be tying into this new endeavor or something that you you're embarking on that you're about to take action on um hermit reverse it's like this is energy you're coming out of a period of like isolation a period of reflection especially for those that have been feeling lonely with the five of pentacles if you've been feeling lonely um i think you're needing to connect with more people or you're needing to reach out to your loved ones or friends or needing to go meet new people if you're feeling lonely you're needing to connect with others right we're human beings we're social creatures we need our people we need a community so some of you it's like about expanding and finding your true community finding your true people um that you can rely on okay so you have some emotional stuff that you're dealing with um but it's it's all good right it's all good let's take a look and see what's coming to an end here with the world for capricorn summarizing venus Tell me about the world for Capricorn. What's coming to an end for Capricorn for the week ahead? What's ending for Capricorn? Show me clearly. Ten of Pentacles. Could be affecting family or something about the family. Eight of Cups. No, really. Really. <laughs> Seven of Swords reverse. Ten of Wands and the Five of Swords reverse. Jeez. Temperance, Queen of Wands, and the High Priestess at the bottom. So we'll talk about that. Yeah. Okay, first of all, I'm getting up a couple things here. Ten of Wands and the Five of Swords reverse. Some of you um, don't be afraid to ask for help or like assistance or a shoulder to cry on like some of you you're letting your pride get in the way saying like i can handle this and i don't need nobody else and i'm fine on my own and i can i can do this i can take care of this and like yeah you probably can handle this and you probably can do it on your on your own by yourself but it would probably be a lot easier or not so difficult if you were to like open up or again like letting down your walls or letting people help you or like even being a bit more like vulnerable which that's what the star is right sharing your vulnerable side which right we had that king of swords is like king of swords he ain't vulnerable at all but it's like that is maybe what you're needing to do is like by breaking out of the norm and doing things the non-traditional capricorn way or the way that you typically wouldn't handle situations it's like so it's like challenge yourself to approach things a little bit differently and if you gotta like ask for assistance or like you know because some of you really struggle with asking for help. Some of you are like, you know, you're you guys give off like leader vibes, you know, Capricorns. You guys are like great leaders, and you know, you always take initiative, and like you're just, you know, you're solid as fuck, and you're always like the type of person to be like, fuck it, I'll do it myself. <laughs> but it seems like in this situation, it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to lean on others for support, and like, yeah. I see that there may also be like forgiveness or healing that's taking place some sort of like situation that's involving maybe family here with the ten of pentacles maybe there's been some conflict in family matters or drama with family members um people that are that you're related to or you're close to or were once close to um I see something about that situation we have three tens thrown up in this reading by the way so again endings for sure but i see like there's something like that's been pretty burdening you and it's been affecting your emotions right we go back to the ten of cups reverse and the king of cups it's like it's been affecting you emotionally 
And I feel like this week, or even the next couple of days, or whenever you come across this this reading, um, near future energies, like I feel like there are opportunities for healing and letting go and forgiveness. Um, there is the energy of like revisiting something from the past. So I think it's again, the eclipse energy bringing things up that you thought that you moved on from or you thought that you didn't care about, or you thought that it didn't affect you. It's all being brought up here. So there's the energy of like you revisiting something that obviously affected you deeply, 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 deeply. Something that you walked away from or something you left behind or something that you thought you moved on from. Um, it's being brought back up to the surface or like even just like it's like cobwebs um let's see is there anything else from this yeah i think that there's a lot that you have to still work through letting go and you are right with the devil reverse you are getting better at detaching and removing this from your life and healing and getting back your balance but let's take a look into the devil reversed and then we'll take a look into this new stuff that you got going on tell me about the devil reversed oh i'm getting suppressing your emotions here devil reversed and the, the father of cups reverse like i was saying earlier you know stepping into more of that king of swords of being more analytical pushing your feelings your emotions aside or like uh crying doesn't pay the bills <laughs> right but this is that that was that energy of you suppressing your feelings and bottling it up and how that was impacting you in a negative way affecting you affecting your relationships affecting your work that you do just affecting everything right you suppressing your emotions suppresses a lot of other things in your life that you may not even be aware of and so that's causing issues and so that's something that you maybe are becoming aware of or has been brought to your attention lately and so that's something that like you're realizing like oh i actually got some shit i gotta deal with inside um right you could you could have the healthiest lifestyle you could eat the best foods you could exercise you could do all that stuff but if you don't work on what's going on inside here in your heart in your brain in your mind in your soul then yeah you're not healthy right that's mental health man so tell me about the devil reverse for capricorn knight of wands devil reverse for capricorn i do kind of oh that's that's too many but with that knight of wands i do kind of feel like there's the energy of like um like swaying like back and forth i am kind of feeling like at times it's like you're completely you're over it you moved on you are free of this negative energy you're free of this devil you're free of this toxicity and then there's other moments where you slip back or you fall back to old ways or old mindsets old beliefs old habits um so it's kind of like back and forth it feels or that's like the vibe for the week ahead so it's just like little setbacks or little moments where yeah you you get it's because of the triggers it's because of the healing that's needed here three of swords there's still some healing that's uh, that's coming up and you know healing is non-stop we never <laughs> it's like never ending there's all these layers that just keep on going down down deeper and 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 when you think that you're done it's like ha, you got all generation to fucking heal it's like bruh like you know it's, it's a lot it's a lot damn capricorn all right what else we got for this devil reversed for capricorn in this next week the next seven days magician i love that and the four of swords you taking back your power you taking time out to rest you healing your heart that's what's happening here we also have justice at the bottom eight of wands four of pentacles ace of pentacles i see that there's an opportunity oh yeah this is relating to all this change that's been occurring yeah yeah you might be a little afraid but it's nothing you can't handle six of swords you'll move through that discomfort okay okay so you have opportunities coming in ace of pentacles even f relating to your money your finances okay um you still are holding on a little bit but the four of pentacles holding back your emotions suppressing some things trying so hard to control how here's the thing it's like you know we all love to say that we got control over our emotions and we don't let our emotions control us but 
is that are you actually in control of your emotions or are you just suppressing them because in this case i'm seeing in this reading like you've just been suppressing them you may be saying and convincing yourself yeah i got control over my emotions and i don't let my emotion control me but actually it's more like there's a disconnect and when you feel your emotions it gets so overwhelming you shut down and then you just completely don't know what to do so you just completely detach robotic right so that's not controlling your emotions that's suppressing your emotions i don't know who i'm calling out <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm calling you out, but someone needs to hear this. So it's just like, you know, baby steps, baby steps. It's something that you're working through, it's something that you're going to figure out. And honestly, there's not a manual to this shit. So <laughs> take it easy on yourself. But the magician and the four swords out here, this is the steps that you're taking, right? Thing focusing on things that are within your control, but there's healing taking place, there's releasing, there's feeling, there's also rest and recuperation and getting back your strength and looking and getting some insight on some of the lessons that you've been learning through all of these changes and through all the stuff that you've been going through. Learning your lessons so that you can do things and approach things differently here. Eight of Wands massive movement big ass growth congrats like you're really pushing to higher levels like you're doing great you're doing the best that you can so i applaud you seriously now capricorn before we wrap up this reading let's just take a look into what this new kind of stuff is mother of wands ace of wands eight of pentacles what is capricorn starting or what should capricorn be focusing on for the week ahead it's just like creative endeavor or new business venture new job perhaps like what is this give me a little bit of insight as to what this mother of wands ace of wands and eight of pentacles is all about maybe <clears throat> excuse me maybe this is like an idea or something that you've been sitting on just because the mother of wands uh, the mother wants ace of wands she's like sitting she's kind of like sitting on this stick so it's kind of like something that maybe you've been sitting on or you've been contemplating taking action on but you haven't yet you've been waiting for the right timing uh, maybe you didn't have the courage you now do mother of wands and the ace of wands for capricorn and eight of pentacles so the mother wants ace of wands eight of pentacles Hierophant and the King of Wands. Hey, look at all this fire. This is something that has you feeling pumped. This is something that excites you. This is something that, like, is really worth your attention here. Lovers, it's about some sort of commitment. Could be about a relationship, but it's feeling more... It could be business partnership, too. Um, some of you, it's like you have this business idea or you come up with a business plan. Maybe you are... Um, it's something that's, like, getting off the ground. So that's exciting anything else about the mother of wands ace of wands three of pentacles coming out moon empress nine of cups so although right now it's just like you don't know where this may head you don't know with these ideas that you have or this plan that you have or something new offer that you are might you might be taking up on or a new job or business partnership or new commitment um i do feel this is going to be bringing lots of new learning and collaboration i definitely am feeling like there's a collaborative energy um, this this is this new start is also like possibly with another person but it's not really you guys it's not feeling romantic here this feeling like it's something else like business or hmm some sort of passionate new beginning though it's like very exciting it's very fulfilling it's very rewarding okay some of you it requires you to move or travel okay anyway so there's some uncertainty about this right right now it's like there's still a lot that's not planned or like you're unable to like foresee where this may go or where this may lead but it requires you to take the risk there's also, also the energy of you needing to rely and trust your intuition on this now underneath that right although you don't know nothing it's not concrete and there's uncertainty the probability of this being successful and being really fulfilling and being like massive wish fulfillment here empress and the nine of cups is very very high it feels like this is a very high chance of this being what you've dreamed of having so this is relating to some sort of dream or wish fulfillment okay so that's awesome six of swords underneath that eight of swords pushing through those fears okay so yeah capricorn basically to just kind of like summarize before we wrap this up it's like you're coming out of like a real troublesome cycle there might be moments where you slip back into old ways old patterns um you might want to disconnect from your emotions at times when it feels very overwhelming or stressful or uncomfortable um 
the tendency to push other people away or the tendency to like not accept help or ask for help that's some things that you got to work through it's like feeling your emotions and leaning on others for support and like um like connecting with others connecting with people right um but yeah it's like the end of some sort of tough cycle is is here it's near some you're walking away or leaving something behind um that's like been making you feel very unhappy yeah um, miserable <laughs> right with that 10 of cups reverse is like you're leaving behind something that makes you feel like shit basically and so you're leaving something that makes you feel like shit right you're leaving you're walking away from something that's garbage and then you're walking straight into wish fulfillment so this is a win-win this is like um this feels similar to i think it was aquarius I think it was aquarius i did aquarius yesterday they had a similar reading so if you got any aquarian placements make sure you listen to that one it might give you some more insight or more perspective as to what's going on but yeah so, uh damn it's like you're leaving you're leaving behind the trash and you're coming across gold mine i think that's a fair trade in my opinion i think that's a very very fair trade okay so you got some good shit coming in it's very exciting oh you know what i didn't even realize we got a mother to the king or king to the queen father to the mother we got a perfect pair out here so again it's like you are coming into alignment with the right people again can be romantic but i am sensing that this is like friendship or even business it feels i'm feeling like there's a business plan for some of you you got like a business plan or you're throwing around ideas or contemplating like you're coming up with some sort of plan um cool maybe with the moon it's like keep it kind of on the down low for now keep it kind of in quiet until like it's certain or you're 100 percent um ready to jump in so yeah you know i think with that being said i think that's all i gotta say for you capricorn um if this was helpful or insightful let me know in the comments below leave a like subscribe to the channel if you want to book a private reading with me the information's in the description down below and you can find me on my instagram and tiktok at jade stone tarot thank you so much for watching capricorn and i'll talk to you in the next one take care